Paul with Expert Investor Tips. Today we're going to talk about the number one fear joint venture investors have and how to overcome it. So I, I consult and, and I coach a lot of uh, investors in how to transition their uh, you know, rental property business into joint ventures. I mean, everybody eventually uh, runs out of money to buy their own deals. So you end up having to look to raise money elsewhere if you want to keep expanding your portfolio and your business. And that's where joint ventures come in. You know, I, I, I know a lot of investors who have been very successful that way and have been able to acquire a, a great number of properties not using their own money. But there are a certain set of skills that come along with that. And there is one fear that I, I, I see that's very common. And I went through it too, and we all have to kind of overcome it. And that fear is simply going for the close. Or another way to say that is just simply asking for the money from the joint venture partner. And what it boils down to when you ask uh, enough questions, it's, it's a fear of success. It's almost a fear of uh, unworthiness, that you don't deserve the money or that you're not good enough. I know that sounds crazy, but believe me, I've been through this before. And the number one way to overcome that and how to do it consistently is to uh, create a portfolio for yourself. And what I mean by portfolio is a, just a little book, a duotang, a binder, something uh, where you can showcase your previous properties and all your previous successes. And if you've had done joint venture deals before, you want to showcase those there too. So that when you're meeting with a, a potential money partner and, and you might feel that you know, you're nervous or you don't, wanna, uh, or you're, you don't know how to ask for the clothes, pull out the portfolio. And don't even ask for the clothes. Let the portfolio do the clothes for you. So you pull it out and you say, hey, this is the successful deals I've done in the past. Here's one, here's two, here's three, here's five, here's 10. And that usually uh, builds trust with a cash partner. It shows them that you've done this before and that you can do it again. So that you don't have to say, hey, give me your money. Okay, that, that trust will already be built and if the joint venture partner wants to do a deal with you, they'll come out and say it. So that's been the number one tool I prescribe to people and I, I urge you to use it. So this is Paul with Expert Investor Tips. If you want more information on joint ventures, you can go to freecanadianjvbook.com and uh, check out our joint venture book with a bunch of tips filled in there. If you like the videos, hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.